So this is an experiment uh, for my new riser tube on my rocket stove. Trying too hard mentioned creating a vortex inside the uh, internal burner. So what I've done is I've cut the bottom of this tube so that it forces the air into a spiral inside. Put a little plate on the top there so it can't go straight up. It's 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 got to it's got to enter and then spiral round. Um, what I've also done is I've created this tube which will sit inside. You see, there's the air intake on the bottom. I've created this tube that, that will draw extra air and I've just cut a slot in that there uh, and there's a few holes I don't know if this thing's got any merit or not but I'm going to try it I'll put a cap on top of that to stop the air coming straight out the top and I'll turn that to the back slightly then drop the tube on get in. you can see in there or not I guess not I'll drop that inside then I'll put um, a little deflector there I'll stick the burner box on the front which is just a piece of tin Get that out the way this isn't easy filming with one hand okay so that is the <clears throat> that will be the burner tube going into the rocket and I'll fit that inside the just to deflect it in. I'm doing this kind of backwards because I've already set this up once and tried it and it's quite good so I'm just going to show you, I was just showing you how this all sort of works and I'll clip now to the bit where I've got it burning. Okay so I wanted to show you what's going on inside this uh, riser tube with the vortex created inside can you see there? yeah you can see it all spinning away this is something I've just set up just outside just to try and see the effect of what's going on very little smoke coming out of this um, the best way I can show you is to drop something into the riser tube and you can get the full effect you can see that pipe in the center it's kind of a maypole thing where the heat's spinning around it and uh, what I've done is I've drilled some holes in that riser tube and it's fed clean air from the bottom so it's pulling air uh, into that sensor tube and it's mixing with the gases as it comes up. It's got really hot in there. Let's drop a piece of wood into that. And it'll show what's just what's going on inside that tube. So it's going to get a bit dirty and smoky now but I've just dropped that piece of wood in. And as it catches fire there just see that now I'm powering away still burning clean fairly clean it's throwing out a lot of heat this thing I didn't get the camera any closer than this but there uh, that's what I'm working on for for the for the next riser tube anyway that to create that vortex effect that trying too hard is uh, aiming for 
So this is for you mate, It'll it just shows you the effect of what's going on inside that tube uh, and you was talking about incorporating a secondary airflow. I think this is a good idea, this, this central thing because it keeps it keeps the flame spinning around you know in that within that vortex and it powers it right through to the top okay try it mate and see what you think okay so this is what's happening without the internal tube on I've just dropped a stick in there waiting for it to flare up not burning as clean as it was before that's the first thing I've noticed and the sticks the sticks now burning the flames are kind of they're not they're not swirling the same as it was when the pipe was in there they're just sort of shooting straight up pipe in the center is definitely working we'll leave it at that this is just a quick update on the knife handle that's the shape what I've done is I've cut that piece of timber to roughly the shape I want it and then I've cut that piece of antler up and I've fitted it inside there so I've got the knife shape it's not fitted too tightly but I want, I'm going to put a little separator in there anyway of some black some kind of black material, either epoxy or something like that. I'm going to cut uh, the the end there so the tang of the knife goes in and it will slide inside. So far I'm quite chuffed with that because I think that's going to look quite nice on that. Again, don't know if you can pick this up in that light. Yeah, that front end there is, is got too much of a slope on it now that will be cut to the correct angle the back will be shaped so the next job will be to um, to sort of round that off cut that cut a hole into that so I can get the tang of the knife sitting in there which will be there somewhere and then I can sit the piece of bone on top of it and then I'm just going to have another look at it then and uh, see how it looks ok that's a quick update um, I'll put something else on when I get a bit further cheers